Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to do like an actual hair uh, video for my coils. As you see, my hair has grown a lot, and um, I'm going to go ahead and wash it today, and then just redo them. But yeah, I was like doing like length checks and stuff, this side um, to my eye. I didn't really do any length checks like on the side of my hair, which I should have been, but I'm going to start now. So it's like this, um, and then the back, like I said, is shorter. It goes like that. I'm gonna up some pictures when I first cut it and how short it was. And, like my coils were like super um, short, a whole bunch of like new growth right here, and then that's the coil. Okay, but yeah. So usually I use um, Eco Styler to coil my hair, but I just bought some As I Am curling gel jelly, and it's for um, coil and curl definer. So I'm gonna try to use this, um, and then I have my. Aussie Miracle Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this will last me like another two weeks. Maybe three. I don't know, but that's how much I have left. And um, yeah, I actually like this stuff right here. And then, like I said, my Equal Styler. I don't like that much. But yeah, so those are my current hair products I use for my um, TWA. I'm going to go ahead and go to the kitchen sink and wash my hair. And then I'll come back and um, coil my hair thumbnail all right so I just got finished washing my hair my cotton t-shirt and like most of my curls already fell out when I washed it which is okay You know, like a lot of it fell out already. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my hair out and then take a picture so I can see my growth. Because I pick my hair out as my growth or I just, you know, kinda pull it a little bit. Um, I forgot to show you this, but this is the Shea Moisture Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. Little focus. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of this through my hair and then um, go ahead and use the Azam product. And then, um, an oil so these two and then start coiling here with this and I have to refill my water bottle a little but yeah um I'm gonna take it out first and like since the ends are still somewhat coiled it'll be a little bit harder so I'm gonna start from the end and then go down to the root now when she cut it she cut my front shorter than this part if that makes sense so yeah <clears throat> so i fully picked it out and i can tell i had a lot of new growth i actually have like an afro now like i said i'm gonna insert pictures but i actually have an afro now like it looks good and like even sort of the back is still short but looks a lot better and this is with no hair product um but yeah, this is the back. I haven't really looked at the back. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil and then my leave-in conditioner. So um, this is the first time I'm using my hair, uh, this on my hair since I cut it, and I usually use two pumps for the front, and this is what happened. I have it two more pumps on the back, but um, let me just give you a close up. Like, look at it, it's like all white and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to let it air dry some, but I mean, it's not like it's just like product is just sitting on my hair. Um, and I'm trying to like rub it in, but it's just not. My hair doesn't take this product anymore, I'm not sure. But, um, I'm going to keep this in for like 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out if it's not, and then I'll come back and coil my hair. Okay, so it did end up drying quite clear, or, you know, just drying. Um, but yeah, I do have to add some more water and then I'm going to go ahead and start on my finger coils. I just turned off a fan. But yeah, um, 
I'll be right back. So I put a little bit of water or coconut oil and now I'm using it as I am. Coiling it and it just looks like this. Let's see that. But I'll come back on and usually I start the front first and then I do the back. But I just want to do the back to see. Um, but yeah, I'm about to just do like a um, part. I always do this one and then just do that that way and that way. But by like maybe like four days later, it starts to, you know, the part just disappears. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm not doing it on camera because I like to watch Netflix and YouTube videos while I'm doing my hair. It takes like quicker um, when I do that. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and knock it out. Um, do the front, show you guys. Probably show you guys a couple more and then I'll just go ahead and finish it and come back. Sorry. Um, my part isn't perfect, but it's how it's looking right now. Don't worry, it'll look better. It's a little wonky right now, but like once I put my scarf on and stuff like that, it'll be flatter and look better. But that's how it's looking right now. Um, let me see. Like I said, I'll put pictures and stuff. This looks so weird. But, um, yeah, because, like, every time I do them, they like, tend to go, like, this way. Instead of, you know, straight down. But I'll try to fix that. But, yeah, I'll see you guys when I make my progress. Okay, so my, um, like, it's air drying right there. But, um, I did the front. And this is what the front looks like. To the side. Let's see. Alright, so that's what that looks like. And um, I still have to do the back. And as you see, I've had a lot of flat stuff. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put this little black hat on. And just like show the front, if you know what I'm saying. I'll be right back because I cannot see. But so me and my aunt are about to go ahead and like exercise um, at the park. So this is uh, how my hair turned out. I hope you guys can see that. I can't really see right now. But um, I'll do the best when I get back. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hopefully you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope this video helped you and it's informational. And I'll see you guys next time.